church this morning, there must be a leader. And this morning we are here to worship the King of Kings, the leader. We are here to worship the Lord of Lords, the leader. We are here to worship the conquering lion of the tribe of Judah. I want you to come on, get intimate with God. Get intimate with God. Find me Psalms 136. Psalms 136. Make 
make him the one who knows how to fix up your body, the one who knows how to breathe breath of life, the one who makes him become a living soul. I said, you know, see these days, people not even respond for what they do anymore. People not looking at their sin and repent and come away from sin. People want to manufacture their own life. People are living any all out. People don't remember the Creator. When last you get that glory, for about two, three hours. When last you rise up and say, God, you are worthy. It is very, it is very nice to just say, thank you, Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. But that is not enough to get breakthrough. Come on. That is not enough to make God move. You see, when you want God to move, you have to fall in love with God. You have to understand. There's a song that says, I keep falling in love with him over and over, over and over again. I say, each time you fall in love, as you wake up in the morning, as the sun shines, you have to fall in love again. You have to fall in love all over because salvation is day by day. New morning, new mercies. You have to praise God. You have to give him what right for him in long swim. I said, give, give, give thanks unto you, oh God. Each step I take, I know that He will guide me through all the way. He ever leads me on until someday the last breath will be taken. Lord God, each step I take, Lord God, will lead me close to God. Come on, each step I take. I know that he will guide me and yet to all the way. Hey, he ever leads me on. Oh God, until someday, yes, my last breath will be taken. Oh God, it's the point that God will keep me close to God. You see, you have to understand the praise of God. And you are trying every day to know the world. You are trying every day to build things. Some people all over the world building up this big manufacturer. You see, trying to make all type of pill to give us, trying to make all type of instrument to put in your body because they're looking for money. Everything in this world is money. Money plus money plus money. There's a scripture that says money answers the all things. But I come to tell you, I said money can send you to destruction because the love of money is the root of all evil. It's trying to take to love money. Love God. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and all his righteousness and all these things. Everything you need shall be added unto you. But if you are wrong, Only when you 
tuning, you're tapping with a spiritual entity. The one that released the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of God. The one that embedded himself within you. The one that looked for you ever and ever. The one that is the beginning and the end. The one that is the present, the past, and the future. That man built something. And he has a manual for it. And if you walk away from the manual, and you never understand and seek the knowledge from the manual. I say one day, one day, one day, too late shall be a cry. Because the manual says, in the beginning was the word, and the word was with God. And I hear God, and he dwell amongst man. I said, and he tell me, he tell you that he needs his prayers, he needs his glory. God. I can't do it without worship God. I can't do it without praise. Father, man of God. I know that you know things you know seems like it not working. Let me let me let me start something for you. Let me let me start something for you. There's a scripture that says, and Moses give you not the true bread from heaven. But my father will give you the true bread from heaven. And the bread that I am talking is my body. You see, in order for you to eat properly and for you to birth what, what God has in for you. You have to understand who is the bread of life. You have to understand who you must praise. You see, if you are not eating the bread of life, then inside of you is like a dead man's sepulchre. Because you don't have nothing of God inside of you. But when you are eating the Jesus body and drinking his blood, like today, we are going to do it. Because when we do that, as we remember 